All right, so let's take a look at uh, the best way that I've ever come up with how to understand how to add and subtract integers. I found that a lot of the students that I tutor one-on-one -on -one, uh, just don't have a good sense of how to add and subtract integers without the calculator. So I've just shown them this method, this way to think about it, and they just think, oh my gosh, why didn't I ever know this before? This makes it so much easier. So I don't know why every teacher doesn't teach us this way. Maybe they do and it just doesn't stick, but hey, I'm gonna share it with you so it's out there on, on the YouTubes for all of eternity. All right, so let's get right to it. So adding and subtracting integers. Uh, so I like to explain it with either like blobs that are color coded or these things are sometimes called algebra tiles. So you see here, I've got positive two and that's represented by the two uh, green circles you have. That's our positive two. And then in walks, right, we're gonna add and I put this in parentheses just to sort of drive home that we're adding three more positives. So what happens when three more positives walk in the room? What do you get for your answer? Well, that's easy, right? The answer is positive five. You see how easy that is? So we have two positives combined with three positives makes five positives. All right, so you might be thinking, all right, that seems awful easy, and then it is. Well, what if in the room you've got two really negative people and then in walks three more negative people. So we've got two here, we've got three more here. So what do we have at this point? How many do we have? Do two negatives make positives? No, not in this case, or not in this case. When you're adding, you're literally just describing what you have. So the answer here is negative five. So don't overthink that. Negative two plus negative three is negative five. If you're tempted to say positive five, it's because you're thinking about multiplication. A negative times a negative is a positive, but we're just talking adding and subtracting here in this video. All right, so what about this situation? A lot of students look at this and they get kind of confused because in a way, you know, it's quote, take away, right? It's subtraction. Negative four, take away positive one, technically. That's why I put that green plus sign there. So it's four negatives minus a positive. But wait, we don't have any positives to take away. So, oh my gosh, my brain, it just starts to freeze up, right? That's what you're thinking. Well, here's what I'm, um, here's the way I explain this to students. There's no such thing as subtraction. And I know I'm not the only teacher to say that because I've heard other stud or students say that their teachers said the same thing. No such thing as subtraction. When I look at this, I don't see subtraction. Here's what I see. I've got it hidden under this yellow thing. You ready? Do you know what I see? All right, let me delete this away. There it is. I see the combination of two negatives. So negative four minus one to me is really negative four plus negative one. So we just have lots of negatives. I just see negative four, negative one up here. So that's the way to visualize it, in my opinion. Either of these is gonna give negative five as your answer. Negative four and negative one is negative five, even if it's written this way. All right, moving on. What other kinds of things could we look at? So what's different here? Why did I put this in here? This time we are adding some positives and some negatives. No big deal, no big deal. We're gonna play a game, folks. We're gonna play a who wins and by how much game. It's as simple as that. Who wins by how much? What do I mean by that? Well, we're combining everything. So we're lumping them all in the same room. So we're gonna let them battle it out. We're gonna let them battle it out. So this positive cancels this negative because after all, negative one plus one is zero, right? Technically, this is positive one, this is negative one. They add up to a net zero. They cancel each other. So what are we left with, folks? Right here. Who wins? Who wins the positives by one? Who wins the positives by how much? One. Who wins by how much? Let's go to another example. Who wins by how much? Here we have negative five plus three. So I've got negative five and I've got positive three. You see those algebra tiles that illustrate that. Who wins this time? Oh, sadly the negatives win, right? By how much? They've got more on their team. They've got two extras on their team. So the answer is negative two. So who wins 
and by how much is a great way to think about it when you're combining a positive with a negative. And it doesn't matter which way it goes. Remember that the bigger number, the bigger absolute value number here, we had more negatives than positives. So that's why the sign on our answer was negative in the end. All right, moving on. What about this problem? One minus three. Remember, there's no such thing as subtraction. So I purposely left this off. This is an addition problem where we're taking positive one and we're combining it with negative three. So who wins? Who's got more on their team? The negatives by two. Easy peasy, right? All right. One last thing I want to show you is the concept of a double negative. So technically this is multiplication, but I'm just going to teach it as a double negative. So if you're not, not going to get it right, I'm not, not going to get it right, that means you are going to get it right. You see two double negatives are a net positive. If I say you're not going to miss it, that's technically a double negative. You're not going to miss it means you're going to get it right. So two negatives make a, a net positive. So this becomes positive two plus positive three equals five. This is positive five. So whenever you see minus a negative or subtracting a negative, just change it to a big fat positive. All right, what about this next one? When you look at that, convert it in your head to an, a big fat positive. This becomes negative five plus three. Now who wins and by how much? You see how the negatives have more on their team, don't they? So the, the negatives win by two. End of story right there. You see how efficient this is for, for thinking about this. All right, I think you're ready for a little bit of practice. So we're going to do this relatively quickly, okay? So here we go. What is negative one plus negative three? negative four. What is negative five plus two? Who wins by how much? Negative three. What is negative eight minus two? No such thing as subtraction. Those are just both negatives. Negative ten. Next one. Negative three plus eight. Who wins by how much? Positive five. All right, now, here I'm throwing three integers at you. Positive four plus one plus negative one in a way. So what ends up happening there? What do you get there? Four plus one minus one. Well, the way I think about it is this cancels that, right? They, they cancel each other. So the final answer is just positive four. All right, real easy. Okay, we got another one here. What about this one? Negative 10 plus eight plus 10. Oh, that's easy, right? The 10 cancels the negative 10. The answer is eight. The answer is eight. See how easy this is? All right, how about eight minus negative three? Eight subtract negative three. Eight minus negative three, that's the same thing as eight plus three, that's 11. And here we have another one. What is negative five minus minus one? That's negative five plus one. Who wins by how much? The negatives by four. And finally, what about this one right here? What about this one finally? Negative eight minus negative five minus five. Don't just plow left or right. Look for something special here. This is really just positive five, right? Because of the double negative. So then that positive five cancels that negative five and the answer is just this guy right here. Negative eight is the answer. Negative eight is the answer. All right, well, I really hope that this helped. Okay, uh, this, what, this is the way that I've always taught this. So hopefully you found this useful and you know, uh, maybe you can show some of your friends also. Uh, well, hopefully you'll check out my other videos and until next time.